Hello, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's all right this morning. On our prayer request today, uh, Jay Wood is very sick and has health issues. Pray that he gets better. Uh, whoever sent me this one on Jay, could you let us know how he's doing? Give us an update on him. It's been uh, not almost a week. Uh, Mr. Bill had to go to the hospital for a blood clot on his lung. He's back at uh, the nursing home now. Amy's aunt has two more cancers in her body. She started treatments two weeks ago. Pray that she'll get better. Nikesa is 77 years old, a widow, and all five of her children died. Her legs are in pain. Pray that she gets emergency treatment and her pain goes away. Our friend Becky passed away on Tuesday. She had been very sick for a long time. Pray for her son and her friends for comfort. Pray for Amy's daughter. Someone, no, pray for Amy's neighbor. I'm sorry. Uh, someone called for an ambulance for them and she doesn't know what happened. Amy, have you heard anything about um, this? Uh, if the person's all right or anything? Let us know. And Lena's best friend passed away. Pray for comfort for the family and her also. Okay. All right. Our scripture of the day today comes from Lamentations 3, 16 through 33. He has broken my teeth with gravel. He has trampled me in the dust. I have been deprived of peace. I have forgotten what prosperity is. So I say my splendor is gone and all that I had hoped from the Lord. I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those who hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man to bear the yoke while he is young. Let him sit alone in silence, for the Lord has laid it on him. Let him bury his face in the dust. There may we, there may yet be hope. Let him offer his cheek to one who would strike him, and let him be filled with disgrace. For no one is cast off by the Lord forever. Though he brings grief, he will show compassion. So great is his unfailing love. For he does not willingly bring affliction or grief to anyone. Hi there, kitty. What are you doing, huh? Did you come up here to visit? Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, The Reboot of Grace. Over the past several decades, a new word has entered our movie vocabulary. Reboot. In cinematic parlance, I think that's how you pronounce it. A reboot takes an old story and jump starts it. Some reboots tell a familiar tale like a superhero story or a fairy tale. Other reboots take a lesser known story and retell it in a new way. But in each case, a reboot is a bit like a do-over. It's a fresh start, a chance to breathe new life into the old. There's another story that involves reboots, a gospel story. In it, Jesus invites us to his offer of forgiveness, as well as abundant and eternal life. And in the book of Lamentations, Jeremiah reminds us that God's love for us makes every day a reboot of sorts. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. God's grace invites us to embrace, embrace each day as a fresh opportunity to experience his faithfulness. Whether we're struggling with God's spirit, 
Whether we're struggling with the effects of our own mistakes or going through other hardships, God's Spirit can breathe forgiveness, new life, and hope into each new day. Every day is a reboot of sorts, an opportunity to follow the lead of the great director who is weaving our story into his bigger one. How do you think reflecting upon and remembering God's faithfulness in the midst of trials changes your perspective on them? How has God's forgiveness and grace brought a reboot to your life? Father, thank you that your grace and forgiveness invite me to start over fresh every morning. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning. And I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Maybe a kitty will come visit for coffee break. What do you think? I think you're sleepy right now. Yes, I do. All right, everybody. Have a great morning and God bless.